YouTube, what's up? Back again for another daily fishing video here on Andrew Upshaw Fishing. Guys, today we are going to break down the Bassmaster Open Schedule for 2024. Now, I'm just coming off my tournament at Lake of the Ozarks and talk about a bomb. Uh, I'm going to get more into that here in probably the next video or two. I'm going to talk about exactly what happened, what went down, and the demise of that particular tournament. But today we're going to talk about the Bassmaster Open Schedule. They just dropped it yesterday. And quite honestly, I kind of have mixed feelings about it. Um, I've seen worse schedules, I can say that. Uh, I, I don't remember if I've really seen a truly what I consider a better schedule, but maybe a better laid out schedule. But we're going to break it down. We're going to talk about it. Talk about the, the good and the bad of it. Um, obviously, when you're talking about nine tournaments, it's really hard uh, to schedule all around the country and then also balance in the Bassmaster Elite Series on top of it and try to make sure logistically everything works out. So we're going to break it down. We're going to talk about it. So the very first term of the year, starting out at Lake Okeechobee, February 1st through the 3rd. You know, I have a history at Okeechobee, not necessarily a good history. Uh, most of my history there has been pretty uh, lackluster at best. Uh, but I am excited to get back to Okeechobee. It's a different lake than what it ever has been. It doesn't have near as much grass. Uh, it's going to probably fish pretty small, especially with that many people in it. Uh, February 1st through 3rd, I mean, you're talking uh, fish are going to be spawning for sure. But the problem with the first week of February at Okeechobee is you've got to deal with a bunch of cold fronts a lot of times. And when those cold fronts happen, it really changes the fishing significantly. So... The, the one thing about starting in Florida, it's no big deal. You know, you start there, you drive all the way to Florida. But then, the next event is February 15th through 17th. So, we get a, I think it's like a week break. Or maybe, it, honestly, it might be like a two-week break between uh, Okeechobee and Lake Ouachita in Arkansas. So, we're going all the way to the southeast to Florida, then all the way back to Arkansas. In February 15th through 17th. Now, some are going to look at a Washita in February and be like, oh my gosh, that is going to be the snowball of the year. And they're probably right. Uh, Lake of Washita, February, you're talking pretty cold temperatures. Uh, you're talking polar opposites from Florida in February to a Washita in February, uh, as far as just true polar opposites, as far as weather and conditions and things like that. But I'm actually really excited for Washita in February. I know that the fish in there is going to be pretty good. Um, you're going to have a lot of fish in that pre-spawn or even wintertime pattern because uh, it's still going to be pretty cold. So uh, I am really looking forward to Washita way more than Okeechobee. Um, Washita, you know, has that chance of being a forward-facing Sonar tournament, but I think a lot of guys are going to have to just catch them fishing too there. So it'll be a good event. Then we go all the way back to the east for the next event, March 7th through 9th, Santee Cooper, South Carolina. So we're going Florida, Arkansas, South Carolina. You see where I'm getting here now? I mean, it's just a whole lot of back and forth and back and forth. You're going to have to have a vehicle with not a whole lot of miles on it or get ready to spend a whole lot of gas or actually both. But uh, Santee Cooper, I honestly, I've never been to Santee Cooper. It's probably one of the only lakes in that general area that I haven't been to, especially big lakes, you know, that everybody knows about, talks about. Uh, I know when we're hitting there in March 7th through 9th, thankfully we are going there then. Uh, it will be probably predominantly a spawn tournament, pre-spawn. Obviously, if you've watched Bass Live over the last couple of years, you've seen Ford facing Sonar kind of really play a lot in that particular uh, event. And I expect it to in this one as well. But in the, the sake of what I'm going to go do, I know what I'm going to do. Uh, and that is to go look at them. Um, or fish some form of the spawn, pre-spawn, post-spawn, whatever it may be. Uh, I, I'll, I'm going to break down how I did this year. But I'll do that in another video and kind of talk about my mindset going into that event, those events. So we go March 7th through 9th. We don't have any tournaments in April, which if you remember this year in April, we had two. Um, but we go May 2nd through 4th, Logan Martin Lake, Alabama. Never been to Logan Martin. Uh, honestly, I've never, uh, I've never even seen the lake. Um, so I really don't have much on that one. I, I do know that Alabama in May, you're talking post-spawn, 
uh, most of the time. I mean, unless it's upstate, and even then it's still probably post-spawn. Uh, fish are starting to move out a little bit, and I'm assuming that's kind of how it's going to be at Logan Martin that time of year. I mean, I, I believe everything I've heard from uh, buddies of mine that have fished it, it's going to be a pretty good tournament, so I'm looking forward to that one. So well, that's the only tournament in May, 2 through 4. Then we go to June 20th through 22nd, and that is going to be Lake Eufaula, Oklahoma. So we are going to be hitting uh, Lake Eufaula pretty close. If not, I don't know the exact time we were there this year, uh, but pretty close the same time of year. Um, I Honestly, I had a fantastic practice at uh, Eufaula, and and my tournament ended up being okay. Um, I think I ended up either 30th or 31st in the event. I can't remember exactly which one it was. Uh, I had a really good second day, but... I'm looking forward to that one. I mean, that's a that's a good tournament. I mean, that's a good body of water. Uh, I feel like I jive with it really well. Um, you know, obviously this year the release areas really played uh, a big role for a lot of people. Uh, wasn't necessarily what I was doing, um, but I know a lot of guys were doing it. But I, I don't hate Eufaula. I really don't. I think it's going to be a good tournament. So we go June. Then we jump all the way to July. In July, which it's only a couple weeks difference because it's July 11 through 13, but that's at Lake St. Clair. Um, Lake St. Clair in July, that's a pretty good time to be there. Uh, your, your fish are coming off of uh, spawning, uh, probably been done spawning for a couple weeks now, and it's going to be a good tournament. Uh, St. Clair always shows out. I really like Lake St. Clair. It's always been one of my favorite places in the world. Actually, as far as smallmouth go, it's definitely my favorite place in the world. I, I mean, don't get me wrong. You get all this hype on on uh, Cayuga, St. Lawrence River, uh, Ontario, all that. But day in and day out, I'll take St. Clair over those every time. I just I love that place. It is stocked full of fish. You, can, you know, I've had some of the most unbelievable days of my life on St. Clair. So um, that's a good time to hit it, and I'm looking forward to that one. I, I want to say that one's might either be right before I cast or during I cast actually which is a problem uh, I'm gonna have to look at that uh, so July we go from July to August August now this is this is an interesting tournament so it's August 22nd through 24 that's Leech Lake Minnesota um, I got a friend of mine that lives up in that area I think he lives in Wisconsin and when I'd heard a rumor that Leech Lake was on the schedule, I'd, I kind of asked him about it. I was like, have you ever gone to this Leech Lake place? Like, I've never even heard of it, but kind of heard a rumor that the, that was on the schedule this year. And he's like, dude, it is unbelievable. He said, it is some of the best fishing around. He said, the tournament, if the tournament does go up there, he said, it's going to be absolutely amazing. The fishing's going to be phenomenal. And so I'm like, oh, dude, I'm down for that. Like, I've been looking forward to something like that for a while. So... You're really going to want to stay tuned for August 22nd through 24th, Leech Lake, because that is going to be, I'm going to say probably out of the entire ones, after talking to this guy, I'm going to say out of all the tournaments we have on the schedule, it's probably the best one we got. Uh, it's untapped. You don't have any tournament coverage on it. You haven't seen a, a Bass, FLW, MLF, National Professional League, any of that stuff on it, as far as I know, ever, as far as live coverage or anything. So, uh, anytime you can get on a body of water like that, it's pretty special because you have no expectations. Like you kind of just go out there and just do your best and, and try to figure stuff out on the fly. And, that, and that's what I really enjoy is going to places like that. Uh, and then we go September 12th through 14th. And that is going to be Mississippi River out of lacrosse. Uh, that's September 12th through 14th. I've been to lacrosse one time. It was during my FLW days. I don't... I want to say we were there during the spawn, though. I mean, there was fish spawning when we were there. I know the smallmouth... I know they were spawning because I know Scott Martin caught them spawning and some other guys, and I didn't... I just never got on that program. Um, but September, they're 100% not going to be spawning. Uh, it's probably going to be more of a grass deal, topwater deal. Uh, frog flipping and that I'm, I'm really good with that but what I'm going to say is is whenever you start getting to the later part of the season 
you start having to make really tough decisions. And so what I mean by that is, like, in this particular event, you're talking Mississippi River. Well, you can either stay in the pool that you're launching out of or you can lock to other places. Well, in this particular situation, if you lock, a lot of guys get locked out at the Mississippi River. It's happened for years. Um, so if you're in it in the points and you've got a legit chance of making it uh, to the Elite Series and the EQ stuff, you got to really weigh that option, like, am I going to take that risk of locking or if I'm going to just dedicate my practice to the pool that I'm launching out of? You know, because in some situations, the grass is greener on the other side of the lock, but is it worth the risk? And that is the big, big question. So, I mean, obviously, we'll cross that bridge when we get there, but um, quite honestly, that's a pretty scary one to me. I mean, you just never know what you're going to get. And last but not least, the last tournament of the year is October 10th through 12th, Lake Hartwell, South Carolina. I'm going to tell you guys, Hartwell, I've, uh, the last time I went to Hartwell, I thought I had a pretty good practice. I had, thought I had a pretty good plan. And some things kind of happened. My plan kind of crumbled a little bit. It just didn't work out the way I had expected it to, wanted it to, etc. cetera. Um, the time before that, I made a top 10 at Hartwell. Uh, in the same exact time of year. So it's just going to be whether or not I get dialed in on the right program. Um, and hopefully by then I'm in the top five in points and we're rolling on to the Elite Series and it won't even matter. Um, but uh, but overall, if I had to grade this schedule out, I mean, out of ten, I'd probably give it a, a hard seven. Um, we've got some new places on there, which is cool, especially for the Opens, uh, you know, Okeechobee. I haven't seen Okeechobee Terminal Open maybe in a really long time. Uh, Sandy Cooper is a new one for the Opens. Um, you got Lake Ouachita. I mean, I don't even remember the last bass event that went to Ouachita, so that's exciting. Uh, Logan Martin, I haven't been to there ever in my life. Lake Fall, I'm good with. St. Clair, I, I haven't been an open there in a little while, and I really enjoy that place. Leech Lake, obviously, probably my favorite place out of the entire list, and I hadn't even been there before. But I just know from talking to a couple buddies, doing a little bit of my own research on the body of water, it's going to be a dynamite fishery, and it's going to be a lot of fun to watch, too. And then September 12th through 14th, Mississippi River. You know, uh, Mississippi River is just a, a you know world-renowned uh, body of water. And, and I expect us to catch them. You know, obviously, the elephant in the room is, why did we not go to Texas? Why did we not go to New York? You know, why did we not go to all these other places? Um, the biggest question mark I have is why we didn't go to Texas. And, and I'm not saying Rayburn or Toledo, but, I mean, just in general. I mean, we got Texoma. We've got, I mean, heck, they've gone to Louisville before. They've gone to Amistad. They've gone to Falcon. You know, they go to all of these places, like Lake Travis is one. You know, there's a lot of great bodies of water in Texas. Texas is absolutely a, enormous, and it has a lot of options for tournaments. I'm just really surprised they, they didn't go that direction. Um, so, I mean, a little disappointing in that regard. I, I would really have liked us to go to Texas somewhere, or even Louisiana. Uh, I mean, the only problem with Louisiana, there's only about one place you can go, and that's Red River. And I'm, I think I'm okay. Um, but uh, but overall, not a bad schedule. I'm excited to see what happens next year. I'm not quite sure what's going to happen yet, what we're going to fish or, or how we're going to approach the season. But uh, I can promise you one thing. We're going to break it down and give it to you guys here in a video here sooner than later. So thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this. Comment below what you would have picked, what lake you would have picked to go on the Bassmaster Open schedule for 2024, and I'd love to see what it is. Appreciate it, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.